Hi, I'm Farah, I work at Avery UK and I use design and print every single day at work. Now I'm going to give you three really handy tips in this video. So I'll be talking about how to add images, text and some handy printing tips at the end that you can't miss. So the first things first, we'll go into our designer, we'll type in our product code and that will lead us to a page full of designs. We're going to go for the blank and empty one so we can add what we like to it and once we will zoom in all the way in and then we'll pull our navigator all the way down so we can see each label clearly. And once you've done this you go to add text and then we'll type in the text that we want so we're going with the Andersons have moved. Now we've got that there we might want to change the font. So we're changing the font to something fun and unique and then once we've got that we'll make it much bigger. So we're going for about 20 which is appropriate for a label of this size. We'll centre it and then move it all the way up to the top. We're now going to add another text box. This text box will take on the same font style and size of the last text box. A handy little gift from Design and Print to you. Now we've got that here, I'll type it in here, 23, the oh, can't spell. So we'll just go back, redo that, crescent, hard word to spell. And now we've got that there, we'll continue adding in the rest of the details, postcode, and now that's all in place, we're ready to go. We're going to highlight that text and then we're going to change it to 18 and move it all the way into the centre so it's nice and central, leaving plenty of space for our image which comes up next. Now this image, we're probably going to go with one of our cute designs on our Avery Gallery, a lovely little penguin for Christmas, since the Andersons are moving at Christmas. We'll pull him down to the left, um, but not too far, you don't want to go past the dotted line, so keep him slightly inside of it. And now that's done, we can preview and print. So now we're on our preview and print page, you can see all the labels, then you want to click print. You want to change the name of your project, and then save it to your Avery account. This will enable you to go back time and time again to change it or remake this label, reprint. The next box to come up are printing tips. I'm using Google Chrome, so I have a friendly reminder to come up that will tell me not to click fit to page as that will shrink the template. So whatever browser you're using or however you're printing, do not click fit to page, only use actual size. In this example, I've been using multi-purpose tray and labels as my options. However, you may not be offered those options, which is completely fine. If you just check your printer manual, it will let you know the best way to print labels. And if you follow our tutorial, you should have freshly printed labels that look just like this, with our ultra grip technology that ensures a jam-free print every time. To find out more about our free online software design and print, you can check our UK Avery YouTube channel. Goodbye!